Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. My name is Olivia. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2019, but when you see this video, it will actually be Saturday and beyond. Uh, I had to film my video a few days ahead of schedule because tomorrow, which is the day I normally record my videos, is a little bit packed and I was afraid that if I waited and rolled the dice and did my video later in the day on Friday, it would be very frazzled. So husband has went off to do the grocery shopping and so it's the perfect opportunity to make my video. So I'm back. Uh, it's been two weeks since my last uh, video. Uh, this is my 10th floss tube video, which is so strange. Uh, this time last year, if you would have told me that I was going to be making floss tube videos, I would have said you were crazy. Uh, there was no way because I am not the type of person who is like a public speaking type person. Um, I, yeah, I'm horribly, I, speeches in me don't mix and they say well just imagine everybody naked and unfortunately my brain is in flight or fight mode and there's no way i would even think about imagining anybody naked because i'm waiting for the earth to open up and swallow me whole so doing these floss tube videos is totally out of my wheelhouse but i'm glad that i decided to do it it's been a lot of fun and uh I'm just gonna keep making videos every two weeks and so hopefully I'll keep coming back to see what I've been up to um life update so uh, the past two weeks honestly I feel like went by in a day um, it has just been crazy 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 busy um, not only you know do we have you know, Allison, she's, you know, she's going to graduate here in a couple of weeks. Uh, but a lot of the college stuff had to be done as far as, you know, she had to pick a roommate. And then next week, uh, she has like an opening slot where she has to go in and choose the hall that she wants to live in with the roommate that she's chosen. And I have to buy the bedding. We had to sign up for a freshman like orientation type thing that's in June. And it seems, it seems so strange to be doing all of this stuff now because, you know, in the public school, anything for next year, you don't do until August. But now, having to do it now, and then there's still a lot of other stuff, like the orientation, she's actually going to pick her classes for the fall semester, and we have to go do that at the end of June. And so it's just so strange to be doing all of this stuff now and all of her graduation stuff. And so things are just, it seems like every day, it's just the day is over. You wake up and the day is over. You wake up and the day is over. And I don't know, it's kind of that sensation of you're, you're uh, trying to drive uphill, but you're going in reverse. And that's kind of the way I felt the past two weeks. You know, there's so much to get ready, you know, the you know, the outdoors needs to get ready because um, her, when, after she graduates, we're all gonna come back here and have a barbecue. And so all of the outside stuff has to be done and pretty soon the house is gonna have to be gone through and given it's, you know, spring cleaning and so much to do and family's coming and they're gonna be here in like three-ish weeks, I think. They'll be here sometime between like the second and the seventh. Sometime in that week is when they're gonna be here. So um, it's coming up really fast. I just can't, I, I just can't wrap my head around how quickly it's going. So things are sort of falling through the cracks a little bit and you know, I had a couple of custom orders. There was one custom order that I completely forgot about. She was cool with it, which, is understandable and most people understand that you know they've had kids that have went through the whole high school graduation and so they understand it's a it's a very busy time so I'm very grateful that they've been so understanding of my little blunders so um, but we did manage to um, 
not last weekend, but the weekend before, we did manage to go and see Avengers Endgame, and it was very, very good. Yes, we all cried, uh, except maybe my husband. I don't think he really knew what was going on because he hadn't watched any of the previous uh, movies, and not just the Avengers movies, but like all of the, you know, the superhero Marvel character movies to kind of have a sense of what was going on. And so I could hear him asking my son, like, who's that? Well, why did that just happen? What are they talking about? And then it gets to the end, and of course it's extremely emotional. Um, lots of people were there. We, we actually went to go see it at one of the theaters that has the reclining chairs, and it, you, couldn't, you couldn't get a showing. And so then there's another movie theater that's farther down the road, and we were able to get right in, good seats. Um, but even that theater, um, they had three theaters going and it was, they were full. So, um, really good. We all had our favorite characters that we wanted to find out what was going to happen. You know, were they going to come back? And so like mine are the guardians of the galaxy. So I was, I was excited and, you know, to see it all worked out and I'm excited for the, the third movie that they'll be doing of Guardians. Um, and I think it comes out like in 2020 or something like that. So, but yeah, we all had our characters that we were rooting for and wanting to see like what's gonna happen. And, and it was funny. I mean, I had some really, really funny parts in it. And then of course the sad part, and I'm not gonna give any spoilers, so. But it was good. We had a really good time. It didn't really feel like three hours had went by so if you haven't seen it and you're thinking, well, I don't really want to sit in a movie theater for three hours, it honestly did not feel like it was three hours. Um, really good. Lots of, um, you know, like developing storylines for other movies. You can tell. I mean, they always, they always do stuff. So, um, but yeah, it's really good. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but we really enjoyed it. Um, and then I've also been watching Game of Thrones. Uh, I think I'm with the majority of people who are a little disappointed. Um, and again, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I, I, you know, there's that one commercial. Um, it is the, is it the, it's not the Allstate commercial. The one that's got the mayhem guy. Um, and the, in the commercial, the guys, the, the Mayhem guy's at this one guy's house and he's at a football game and he's, you know, they're like going back and forth and the guy's going, what? And then the Mayhem guy's going, what? And he's telling him what he's going to do. I feel like that's the way it's been for me for Game of Thrones. I sit there going, what? Are you kidding me? Like, seriously, what? What just happened? Did I miss something? I was here the whole time. Did I like blank out? Like, I don't understand. Why did this happen? So... I know my brother feels the same way because usually he'll either watch it first, the episode first, and then I'll watch it or I'll watch it first and then he watches it and then we'll call each other and we're like, what just happened? Like, what? And so he was telling me yesterday that I guess there's a petition going around for them to redo the final season because it's a love it or hate it. You either really love it or you really hate it. And I'm, I'm in the really disappointed hated category um i i don't know i don't know i just very disappointed and i feel like they should not have done half of a season you know we're used to if you you know if you're a fan of game of thrones and you've watched it you're used to watching these developing storylines and then you know you're you're watching something you're like i i really don't understand why that just happened like did i miss something you know, did something happen in the previous season? And so then you try to go back and you watch the previous season thinking there's got to be something in here I missed for this to happen. And there's nothing. It just, it just happened for whatever reason. It just happened. So I, you know, I of course am interested to see how they're going to wrap it up. The finale is this coming Sunday. I won't watch it on Sunday. I'll probably watch it the next day. I usually watch it while I'm sewing. And it usually takes me several days to watch one episode. Um, so I'm curious to see what they're going to do, but yeah, I'm really disappointed. And I know that their focus right now are the four spinoffs that they're planning on doing. And the way that my brother told me is that they are, they've got the four spinoffs 
And whichever one of those four spinoffs is more popular, that's the one they're going to go with for a series. So we'll see. But yeah. So, uh, but other than that, yard work has uh, taken up a lot of my time. Some quilting, not a lot. Um, project bags. You know, I do have some in my shop. But because I'm doing this video a day early, I don't really have anything to show because I don't know what's going to be in there and what I'm going to, you know, get done tomorrow. Um, I have them all cut. They're just ready to be assembled. So um, if you're interested in a project bag, the best thing I can tell you to do is go to my shop, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts on Etsy and favorite it. And a lot of the times when I'm uploading project bags, they go in later in the day. Um, so it would be later in the day Pacific Standard Time and so you know keep an eye in the evening time or first thing in the morning and that's when they'll be there so maybe in my next video I'll have some to show you but in this one I don't so all I can do is tell you to go check out my Etsy shop and just you know keep your eye on it because I, I add stuff not every day but every few days there will be some that will make it into the shop so go and check that out. Uh, I guess I will just get right into it. Um, stitch alongs. So Deborah, who is Canopied Stitches on Instagram. And if you're not following Deborah, please go check her out. Um, she stitches a lot of very beautiful samplers um, and she's lovely. So highly recommend her if you're looking for new people to follow on Instagram check her out but her and I are co-hosting us two sows uh, we're also thinking of a third sow later in the year um, but we haven't quite worked out all those details yet uh, but the first sow that's coming up is basket of cherries by blackbird designs uh, this one starts June 1st and we are gonna use the BB cherry basket uh, I don't think it's sow I'll have to check on that but it's it's um uh, BB cherry basket uh, and I think one two three stitches out of this pattern right now but if you you go onto their website it'll say you know do you want to be notified when this is back in stock and if you just leave your email address right there um, they will they will get back to you or they'll let you know when it's in stock and it doesn't really stay out of stock that long so um, if you're interested in joining us you know please please do we would love to have you um, but yeah, this one starts June 1st. Um, I finally got my um, linen for it. Originally, I was going to go with the called for, which I believe is a week's cocoa. But I decided to be a little bit frugal. And so I picked out a 32 count amber toasted almond. And so this is what it looks like. Um, I think it's pretty... Um, close the um the called for is a little bit darker um but i think that you know if you're looking for something that's similar um this one um this one looks like it's gonna you know what's that word work out <laughs> i don't know um i'm stitching so here are all the threads i am i had some of my stash already but these are all of the called for. I did pick some up at Acorns and Threads when I went up there on Friday. But here they all are. I don't know. Yeah, some of my still some of them I've used in other um, projects. Um, the reason why I went with the called for, and I think the only one that's missing, I think I'm just going to use white. Um, I think it calls for like grits or something like that. I could be totally wrong. Um, but a lot of these are in the Anniversaries of the Heart series, which I am going to start in January of 2020. And so I know that, you know, a lot of these I'm not going to use very much. And so when I finish with them, I, they're just going to go in with those charts. Um, and so that's kind of why I was okay. Because, I mean, honestly, you're not going to use a lot of the color um, or a lot of the skein in this little project. And so I thought, eh, it'll be perfect. You know, I'll use a little bit and then I'll just kit it away with my anniversaries of the heart. 
Uh, the second stitch along that we are doing is Birds of a Feather Sally Spencer. And I'm really, really excited to work on this one. Um, I've seen uh, a couple of people recently finish and I, lo I just love it. Um, I know that this one's not necessarily a summer piece, but to me, I feel like it's summery. So I'm excited to have this one to work on all through the summer. Um, that This stitch along uh, is July 1st, and we are going to be using the hashtag BOF Sally Summer Stitching. And I will make sure to put all of the hashtags below as well as the start date. Um, but yeah, if you are, I know lots of people are joining us for, they're either doing a bur, um, basket of cherries or they're doing this one or some of them are doing both. So, you know, please feel free to join us. You can join at any time. If you find my video a year from now and you have these in your stash or you've been thinking about doing them, they're on your wish list, um, you know, please, you know, go ahead and join us. Let us know you're doing it. Um, the stitch along goes on forever. Uh, we will not abandon you. It will not be a stitch alone, I promise. Um, but yeah, we would love to have you. It's going to be such fun. Uh, so yeah, please join us. Um, I am using, I've decided to go with a 32 count Vintage Country Mocha Belfast. So this one is quite a bit lighter than, and I have, a, I have it right here for comparison. So this is 32 count Vintage Country Mocha Lugana. So there's that one, and then here's the Belfast. So you can notice that they are quite a bit different in color. One's very much darker than the other one. Um, so I have decided to go with the Belfast for Sally. And I think, I mean, I, mean, I know that this one has a little bit more of a yellow um, look to the linen, but I think that this one, I think it'll be okay. I think I like it. I mean, you know, I've used Vintage Country in a lot of things. I just, I really like it. And I am using all of the called for Fancy Floss, the um, Gentle Arts. And again, um, some of these will also work for the Anniversaries of the Heart. I'm not sure how much I'll actually have of them when I'm finished, but I'm excited. Excited to do that one, so please join us for one or the other or for both. If you have any questions, you can you know, email me or you can um, just leave your question below and I will, I'll get back to you. So, uh, but please join us. Um, okay, so happy mail. I received two awesome packages. Uh, one of them was from Deborah and she sent me Autumn Queen. She had it in her stash. Um, she, I, this is just for me to borrow. Um, she um, bought it a while ago with the intent to, you know, stitch it for fall. Her birthday is, is um, like, I for me the fall season starts September first, and so her birthday is like right at the beginning of September, and so she bought it to kind of stitch for her birthday. Um, but you know just hasn't you know had the time to get to it so instead she is letting me borrow it I don't know when I'm gonna get to this which I told her I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to this and she's fine she said that you know it's been sitting in a drawer stitch it whenever I know where it is when I want it back so thank you I'm so excited and then she also sent me oh joyous day from blackbird designs I love this one um, I love the house. I mean, anything with the house, honestly, I, I just love it. Um, and I know that we are going to do it as a pop-up start this coming week, I think, either this week or the next week. So for Stitch Mania. So I'm excited, I love it. I'm gonna do it in DMC colors. And then from Jennifer, who is Snowed in Stitcher on IG. She contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in Blessed Be by With Thy Needle and Thread. And I didn't have it and I told her I would love it. And so she sent it to me. I'm very excited. This one's been on my wish list since it released because I am I think this came out last year. I know I saw it last year. Um, so if I'm wrong and it didn't come out last year, for me, I saw it last year and I love it. 
Uh, so I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then before I go on to my haul, I just wanna do a quick mention about my Halloween in May giveaway. I had a lot of Stitchy Peeps enter, so I'm so excited that so many of you uh, entered. Uh, the main, so the question was, what would you do, what do you do with pumpkins? And a lot of people make pumpkin pies, so it was kind of 50-50 pumpkin pies or decorate, but a lot of people um, make pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie, so I'm down with that. But I've also decided to have another Halloween and May giveaway. So the winner for the project bag, the pattern and all that from my last video, and also what this next giveaway will be for Halloween and May, I'll have it at the end of my video, so stay tuned. Now, haul. So last Friday, the hubby and I drove up to Acorns and Threads because my three patterns had come in. Two of them had come in almost right away and one of them was taking a little while, but it finally made it. And um, I'm, if, it had come as if it had come sooner, I would have totally you know, started it. But because it came a little late, I'm just gonna you know, hold off stitching it until next year. Um, the one, one of the ones that I ordered is um, Wordplay, uh, the May, by With Thy Needle and Thread. Um, so this one, it took a while for them to get in. I think I ordered this before spring vacation and it just came in a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. So this one will just kind of hang out in my stash for until next year. So then, <coughs> Um, then I picked up uh, the June wordplay while I was up there and I actually think I might leave off June and just have this as the summer one because it does have an American flag Does this one yeah it has an American flag so I think I'll just leave off June and maybe find another word to you know stick up there and then I'll just have this one up through summer so uh, and then the other two charts that I ordered um, back in March is number eight, Clara Ellen by uh, Blackbird Designs, an anniversary of the heart chart. And I ordered uh, number nine. So I just have two more to go and I'll have a full set. And so this one, I'm going to um, stitch, I'm gonna stitch them all together, all in one piece and I'm gonna start stitching that uh, January 1st, 2020. So I'm excited for this one, and of course I'm gonna you know, customize it with my own family, my husband's family, all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited. So I just have to get 11 and 12, and I'll be done. And while I was up there, I also picked up this Lizzie Kate Seasons. It was 50% uh, off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I, this one's been sitting on my wish list for a while now, so now I have it. Um, the, I don't think they take very long to stitch up, and so of course I'll probably start with the summer one sometime in the summer. And um, while, let's see, I had to um, get a bunch of linen for a bunch of my different projects, and so right before I checked out, um, I got an email that the Cricut Collection free range was back in stock at 123 Stitch, so I bought it. And it's been out of stock for a while now, so I'm really excited. I love this. Um, I kind of know how I'm going to fully finish it, so I'm excited to have this one. And my last little bit of haul, so Mother's Day, um, my husband and kids, they picked out a couple of cross-stitch charts for me. Um, the first one that they got me was Where Liberty Dwells by With Thy Needle and Thread. I, I've seen this stitched up and I love all of them. And I'm trying to decide which one I want to start first. And then they also got me Lila Studios The Bee Comes. And they got me all the DMC floss for it. There's no easy way to show this. 
and some um, R and R reproduction fabric to um, stitch on it. Can't really see it that good. <laughs> So that one's fully kitted. All I need to do is put a needle in it. So I'm excited. They did such a good job. It was really awesome to get cross stitch for Mother's Day. Okay. Um, do do do. Stitch mania. So I ended up changing my stitch mania plans. Um, not really unexpectedly. I actually got mixed up in my day. So originally. I was supposed to work on, um, what is that, Glitter Village this this week. But for some reason I thought I was supposed to work on American Farmhouse. And I mean, I could have just looked at my calendar and saw, but I didn't. And so Glitter Village did not get worked on, nor did American Farmhouse because the fabric for it hadn't arrived. Instead, while I was up at Acorns and Threads, I found this up there. So this is Summer Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand. It's the first time I've stitched a Heart and Hand chart. And I started it Sunday. Yeah, I started on Mother's Day and I finished it on Tuesday. Tuesday night. And I have an idea of how I want to fully finish it. I just haven't had time to sit down and, and do it yet. Um, this fabric here I picked up at Hobby Lobby over the weekend and I brought it home and I tea coffee dyed it and While it was sitting in the tea coffee dyed I threw in some apple cinnamon tea And so now it smells like apple cinnamon. So the whole time I was stitching on it. I was like mmm fall mmm fall mmm fall So it was a lot of fun to stitch. I did it with uh, DMC and then two um, I think it was like uh, Classic Colorworks Blackbird and uh, the Gentle Arts Honeycomb. But I will, I'm going to do a blog post and I will list the colors that I used. I also changed the, there, this was a red truck and I changed it to an aqua one. So, so cute. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It was fun. Really, really fun. Uh, then, and you're going to hear the crinkle, um, I did not take any of these out of, because I have them kitted, so like here's my Ziploc, these are my project bags. Um, I make project bags, but I sell them. So it makes a whole lot of sense, right? I mean, you would think that I would have all these cute project bags that I've made, and this is my project bag. I also have these too. So yeah, go figure, right? So uh, last week... Um, I stitched on Little House Needlework, Summer ABCs. Again, I changed out a lot of the colors. Um, started it Sunday, May 12th. No, May 5th. And I stopped on May 11th. Um, I changed all of the colors. And again, when I, when I get it fully finished, I will list the conversion because sometimes I change my mind. So, uh, but that's where I stopped. Again, I'm using all DMC. And then, so after I finished Summer Whirly Gig, um, there was only, I mean, Wednesday to Saturday, I wasn't gonna start American Farmhouse or Glitter Village. So I switched things around because at the end of Mania, that last week, because I split everything up into five weeks. So originally it was going to be three new starts, one new start on an old whip, and then an old whip. And of course I've added things since then. And so Queen of Freedom, she was supposed to be the last week in May. So I just kind of shuffled things around and I bumped her, you know, back up. And so I will stitch on her for the next, um, I will stitch on her till Sunday or Saturday. Uh, so last night I picked her back up again and all I did was fill in some of her, um, the headpiece. So I thought I made a lot more progress. I mean, it, I, it kind of looks like I'm just gonna, it's, it's progress. So, uh, and you're probably going, but Olivia, why is she back in a Q-snap? Uh, and there's a very good reason for that. So I love stitching 
on the scroll frames. Love it. I, I just, I enjoy the process of stitching on a scroll frame. I like being able to see the whole piece. Um, I feel like it lays a lot better than it does in a, a Q-snap. And you can move around if you need to without unsnapping it and moving it up and then re-snapping it. But what would happen is, is I have a case creation lap stand. And when I put the scroll frame into the case creation clamp, it falls out constantly and it's very frustrating. You'll be stitching along and you might bump it a little bit and it just falls out. And then you go and you, you wrestle with it to get it back in. You think you've got it nicely, you know, tightened back down, you take your hand away, it falls out. And so it's just too frustrating. And so what I think I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to invest in one of the lap stands that Artesian Designs makes because there's just no way. I mean, there's just no way. Um, so for now, she's back in a Q-snap because the Q-snap does work in my case creation. Um, so she'll just have to hang out in a Q-snap for a while until I um, upgrade my lap stand. So glad to get back to her. Um, like I said, I will be stitching on her and through Saturday. And then, sorry, you're gonna hear a zipper. Um, I. I'm gonna start on American Farmhouse by The Scarlet House. So this will be the first time I've ever stitched a Scarlet House. I have a couple in my stash, but um, this is the first one. I'm very, very excited. I love it. I, I love anything with houses and American flag, honestly. So um, I, from uh, 123 Stitch, I picked up a piece of 36 count ale, Edinburgh. And this is the first time I've ever stitched on this particular fabric. I think I've stitched on, or no, this is actually the first time I've stitched on a picture of this plus. Yeah, because it was Lakeside that I had stitched last time. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. Uh, I've seen a lot of people show the ale, so I'm excited. Um, I also picked up all of the called for colors except for I think it called for grits, whitewash. And when I looked at the whitewash up at Acorns and Threads, um, I couldn't really see much variegation in it. So here are all of the called for weeks. And so this is also the first time that I've stitched with weeks. So first time on the Picture List Plus Linen and first time with the weeks threads. So. Excited to try both of those out. Okay, so what is next? Oh, so um, I haven't been watching a whole lot of floss tube um, because I haven't been doing a whole lot of sewing. Um, but the other day, well, actually, I so last week. And then earlier this week, there were two floss tubers that were new to me. Um, I know one of them is, is new, and then the other one has been around for a while. So the one that's been around for a while that is new to me is Michelle with the Striped Rose. Um, she just came up as a recommended. So um, I watched her latest video, and I really enjoyed the time I spent with her. Uh, and, you know, immediately subscribed. And then a new floss tuber that I found, um, I think she only has like five videos or so out, uh, is um, Created to Create BH. And I know that um, she is on Instagram also under the same name. And I had no idea that she did a video until, um, she must have commented or something and or no maybe it was that her her newest video she had posted a thing on Instagram and that was the first time I had saw it so um, I was able to catch her newest video and then she also is hosting her first ever um, is it a stitcher swap I can't remember what she called it but um, you know if I think it is I'm not sure what it is that you swap. I haven't had a chance yet to watch that video, but um, go check her out um, if you are interested in participating in a swap. She also gave me a shout out, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, now, 
Did I talk about everything? I think I did. I think I did. Okay. So um, now, giveaway. Are we at the giveaway part? Wow, it's only 35 minutes and it's at the giveaway part. I feel like, oh no, I have quilting to show. <laughs> so I'll wait for the giveaway and show you my quilting. Um, I think just changing the day has kind of like mixed me up a little bit. And I'm wondering if, I mean, I, I realize that, okay, so I'm 10 videos in. And so I know that I'm gonna make a million mistakes in every video. There's always gonna be something I forget or something I say wrong or um, something I get mixed up. And so I, I know that, you know, for a little while I'm gonna be making these little mistakes that they won't irritate you, but they'll irritate me because I'll realize as the video is uploading that I, you know, I forgot to say this or I forgot to show that or, you know, what have you. So the, I figure that this first year, so from January 2019 until December 31st, 2019, this is like my, my practice year, you know, so I can make all the mistakes in this year. But when next year starts, I need to have my stuff together. <laughs> so you'll just have to bear with me sometimes when I, you know, look around a little confused, like I feel like I'm forgetting something. And in this case, I did. So in my last video, I didn't show any quilting. And I had a couple people point that out to me. Oh, and also in my last video, and I forgot to grab it. See, I told you I, I always forget something. I showed the pattern for 45 and life to go. And I had a couple of people comment saying, why are you waiting? Just do it now um, and do it as a stitch along. So I'm gonna put it out there to all the quilters that follow my channel. Are you interested in doing a stitch along featuring that particular pattern, which was, uh, um, Oh, what? Primitive Gatherings 45 and Life to Go. Uh, are you interested in doing a stitch along with that particular pattern or if you've already done it or um, you have your own Primitive Gatherings pattern that's been sitting in a file cabinet collecting dust, would you be interested in doing a stitch along featuring it uh, or a quilt along? Um, let me know in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I might possibly consider starting it on my birthday this year so let me know in the comments below so it would be a quilt along and in the in the quilters world we don't call it quilt alongs we call it stitch alongs so that's why sometimes it I might get a little mixed up because I need to make sure that I clarify it's not like a stitch along it's a quilt along so let me know in the comments below I also have to keep in mind that um, uh, Lori Holt of uh, Be In My Bonnet. She is doing her Farm Girl Fridays again, starting in September, October, sometime right around the time that her uh, Farm Girl Vintage 2 book comes out. And so I will be participating in that as well. So I do have to keep that in mind. But um, if you do decide that you want to do a quilt along with the 45 and life to go um, of course it would start on my birthday and then it would just be something that would just be ongoing um, it's not something that would have like an end date other than I would need to finish it before I turn 45 so and not just finish the top I need to finish the quilting and the binding and all the things so if you're interested just leave a uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll I'll get it figured out so anyway but quilting so as you can see patriotic tree is up I don't know how well you can see but um, it is bedecked in its patriotic glory I don't I this one's kind of like a farm slash patriotic tree I have my patriotic uh, wall hanging that I made a couple of years ago with my good friend Riri um, I know you can't, I'll show it in my next video, but there's a little um, hand embroidered uh, mason jar with a flag in it that I designed for So What Alicia. Um, I was, um, a couple of years ago, she had guest bloggers, and so that is the design that I embroidered for that. 
But a couple of uh, summers ago, I made this wall hanging. It could have been even last summer that I did it. Um, I just used um, scraps from another quilt that I was working on. I don't remember what the name of this was, but I'm pretty positive it was a freebie. And I'll see if I can find it and link it below. So really cute. This one hangs on the closet door that's in the entryway. And um, another one that is similar to the one that's hanging up, this one also gets hung up on uh, the bathroom door. So the only thing different is I flipped the star to the other side and I quilted it myself with swirls. I think I finished this one a couple of summers ago as well. And it also used to be a free pattern, but I don't think it is anymore. Um, I tried to go look for it last year when somebody asked me about it and I couldn't find it. So I think that she um, took the blog post down or I think maybe she used it as um, a uh, mini quilt kit and I think you had to buy the pattern so um, yeah I'm pretty sure it's gone now and then you just have to bear with me for a second so this one is one of my favorite patriotic quilts I stitched it a couple of summers ago um, let me make sure hang on it's upside down I, I believe it's a thimble blossoms quilt pattern but what can you see? So here it is. I think it's I think it's called Stars and Stripes. So, but yeah. And I know the lighting's not that good today. It is super overcast right now. So it's showing up in the shadows. Let me step forward a little bit. So there is that. I quilted it with I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got clouds quilted on it. But, and, and that's where the scraps for the first one I showed you came from was this quilt. Um, I know that that particular chart or pattern is still available. You can get it as a PDF download and I will link that below because it is a great beginner quilt. If you are, I know that a lot of the cross stitchers are dipping their toes in the quilting water, and that quilt is perfect. It's all straight piecing. There's no half square triangles. A um, lot of fun. I, I put it together in a day. I mean, I cut it all out and put it together in a day. So that's how easy it was. It's, it was a lot of fun. I've actually thought about making another one just because I loved making it so much. So, um, but I will put the link for that down below. Uh, when I bought it, I thought it was five dollars and I could have swore she kept it like that but I could be totally wrong but it's a lot of fun um, highly recommend it again if you're a beginner that's the perfect quilt for you um, okay so that leaves me to the giveaway so Halloween in May first of all I realized that Halloween is not for everybody and I totally understand um, and I know I talked about it in my last video, but I am planning on doing something for Thanksgiving in June or autumn. So it's autumn slash Thanksgiving in June. I already have the giveaway piece. I picked it up at Acorns and Threads when I was up there on Friday. So all I have to do is make a project bag for it. Uh, and I also will have a Christmas in July giveaway that is a, a plum or a prairie schooler pattern. Um, I do want to say that the autumn, so it's Thanksgiving in June, but it's actually, <clears throat> it's an autumn piece. <clears throat> it, um, it's not Halloween at all. So it's just, uh, you know, it's, or it's, did I say it's not autumn? It's, it's not a Halloween piece. It is an autumn piece. So, um, because I know that Halloween is not for everybody and it's totally okay. I don't, some people get offended by that. I don't get offended by that because there are some things I don't like that other people do. So, and I tried to think of a holiday that I didn't like and I, I couldn't think of one. So, because I just like them all equally except Halloween is my favorite. Anyway, but, so the giveaway. Uh, Jardin Privé, what is it called? Halloween, I think it's just called Halloween, yeah. 
it's just Halloween. Uh, you get the chart. There's actually a little charm down here. You get all of the called for DMC. You get a piece of 32 count vintage country mocha. And you get this project bag. So the winner, the winner, winner, winner. I had a lot of people enter the giveaway. Thank you so much. It was a fun one. Again, the question was, what is your favorite thing to do with pumpkins? Pumpkin pie was number one, followed very closely by decorating with pumpkins. The winner for the project bag, the chart, and the linen is Alex Holsworth. So Alex, congratulations. Um, get a hold of me via email uh, and uh, give me your address and I will get this in the mail to you next week. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos, for subscribing. Um, I will also comment on your comment to let you know that you are the winner, but congratulations. Now, I have a second Halloween in May giveaway, and that is, da -da -da, booby, right? So this is a booby word play. I know a lot of people tried to look it up just as booby by hindsight and it doesn't come up. You have to say booby word play, but it is by hindsight. So you will get, so I'm passing the stash of the chart um, as well as all of the DMC that is called for. And also, I know you can't see it very well, but right here are some beads. Um, so the original chart did come with some beads that are very similar to those. Um, they're just a smidge bigger, but these ones I had in my stash. So basically I went ahead and partially kitted it. You'll just need to um, uh, have a piece of, I think it was 32 count it called for. Anyway, and then you'll be ready to stitch it. So if you are interested in stitching a booby, for yourself. Uh, my question is, let's say in a perfect world, I am able to invite you to my Halloween masquerade ball. What do you come dressed as and why? So for me as the hostess of my masquerade ball, I would be decorated or dressed up as a fortune teller from the Victorian era. So that might be an interesting costume, you know, all the full Victorian. It would be like Victorian with a Stevie Nicks vibe. So yeah, what would you come dressed as to my masquerade ball and why? Um, and you can do a couple's costume because that would be fun too. Uh, anyway, so let me know uh, in the comment section below. You must be a subscriber. You have to be 18 or parents permission if you win. Um, like this video. Is that it? Like the video, must be a subscriber. Leave a comment below. Yeah, I think that about covers all of the bases. Don't say giveaway. Most people don't anyway. I think it's just kind of like a common thing because in my last video, I totally forgot to say that. So I think everyone just kind of knows. Um, so, um, yeah, that, that about wraps it up, uh, for me this week. <sighs> I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I, I think that once the school year is over, once Allison has graduated, once my family has departed, I think that everything's going to just slow down a little bit. And I say that, but I have a feeling that it will not because my daughter's going to college and I have all that to look forward to, but I hope there will be a slowdown. So, um, so thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, I did want to say uh, something that I changed over the past two weeks. So if you, I know that some people don't do Instagram, um, but I do have a Facebook page and my Facebook page is called Pumpkin Hollow Quilting. And I set up my Instagram page as a business page, so now it will post to the Pumpkin Hollow quilting page. So everything I post on Instagram, you will now be able to see on my Pumpkin Hollow quilting page. 
So if you are on Facebook, I would love it if you would stop by, give the page a like or follow. I'm not really sure yet how that all works. Um, and you won't miss seeing anything that I post on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Um, you can also, of course, email me at Pumpkin Hollow Quilting. If you have any questions, it's pumpkinhollowquilting at gmail.com. You can follow me on Pinterest. <laughs> um, you can follow my blog, which is pumpkinhollowquilting.blogspot. Blog, I'm going to start over again. Pumpkinhollowquilting.blogspot.com. And you can also follow me there as well. And then there's like a sidebar that lists like my Pinterest and Facebook and all of the things. So, but I'll put all those links down below anyway. So I hope that you have a great couple of stitching weeks. I will see you. You'll actually see me June 1st, but I'll upload my video the last day of May. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. So I hope you guys have fun with the rest of stitch mania. I know I've got some fun stuff that I'm, you know, about ready to start. Again, join us for our stitch alongs. Deborah Canopy Stitches, Stitches and I um, are hosting our first sal. Basket of Cherries starts June 1st. Join us. We would love to have you. So that ends my video for today. I will see you guys very, very soon. Happy stitching, guys. Bye-bye.